Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here again with Brian Sanchez. Uh, he's a personal trainer at Fitness for 10 in Carson City, and he's in our studio there. Thanks for being with us, Brian. Always great to be here, Steve. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to talk more about testosterone replacement therapy. You and I are both on TRT, and uh, we like to give everyone listening updates on what's going on, what our doses are, what our blood work's looking like. And I just got my blood work back, a, a whole boatload of blood work. I mean, my doctor had just about everything checked. And, uh, you know, giving blood, um, that was the second time I've been, I've given blood and then got my blood work done. I gave blood every eight weeks, so not a lot. That's the most you can give blood without um, a, 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 a doctor writing, you know, a, a prescription for you to have uh to give blood. So we're going to talk about how that's affecting my blood work and maybe your blood work. And I've got my blood work all pulled up right here. It's a ton of it. And if you guys look, if you guys have questions about this, ask questions in the, in the comment section. Also, um, we both use Royal medical, um, Royal medical does. I'm, I'm very happy with them. We're very happy with the price. And uh, we'll leave all the information there, but at, you know, reach out to me um, and I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing, or you can reach out to Brian, Re hit us in the comment section and uh, we can give you more specific uh, answers if you have questions about yourself, but use the promo code vitality one. The way it works is it's $195 the first month, then it's $150 the next four or five months, which is an incredible deal. And that covers all your blood work, that covers uh, your medication and your consultation. So um, that's, you know, if you guys want to check that out, go check it out, that will help you out. But that's not why we're here. We want to talk about a lot of people out there, especially if you're over 40, you're trying to decide if TRT or if it's time for you to, um, you know, go ahead and go all in and do the testosterone replacement. Um, my opinion is you want to wait as long as possible, but you don't want to wait too long. So we're going to talk about blood work. Um, mine specifically, Brian, you have any input on that so far? No, I, the blood work's important um, because it really helps you to uh, assess how your program's going. And, you know, people will talk about uh, if you take testosterone, there might be some negative effects to that. Well, yeah, if you take anything, there was a company that contacted me today and, and, and asked, do I know of a certain product? Well, the moment I looked up that product, literally just a few minutes ago, First thing that pops up is the side effects. So everything that is available out there, there's probably some kind of side effect. And you want to be aware of it. But this is where the blood tests really help you out. Because you're seeing if you're getting impacted negatively through your blood work on, on the, I guess, the medications that you're taking, such like a TRT program. Very important part of it. Yeah. Now, everyone's different. And I'm going to tell you what I do if something, if I want to, Everything on my labs are in the normal range, all excellent, um, right where I want them to be, especially the testosterone's at the high level. Pre-testosterone is up nicely. And I'm going to tell you how, when I see that, what I do. Now, you got to remember, everyone's different. Now, for me, I don't take any other medications. I just take the testosterone replacement. And the reason I do that, and that's what I always try to get, get away with, just the testosterone, because testosterone is a natural, occurs natural, naturally in your body. And so, yes, I'm taking it exogenously through an injection, but it's something that's naturally in my body. 
So I avoid, and so far I've been able to avoid all other medications that do other things like block estrogen or whatever they may do. I've been able to avoid those and my blood work is excellent. So I gave blood twice, once every eight weeks. I got my blood work done and there's a few things that um, a lot of doctors, if you guys have listened to some of our other stuff on testosterone replacement therapy, some experts think it's no big deal if your hemoglobin's a little up or your hematocrit is a little up um, and, uh, you know, a few other things. So, but my thing is, you know what, um, I might as well give blood. It's a good thing. And my hemoglobin was a little high last time. Uh, the range goes up to like 18. I was at 20. That dropped down to 16. My uh, hemoglobin dropped down to 16. My hematocrit dropped down under 50. And the range is 37 to 51. It was 55. It dropped down under 50. So 49.8. So those are good. And um, a lot of times the doctor will, you know, write a prescription for you to get, give blood more than once every eight weeks. I didn't need it. It dropped those things down into the normal range. And I know, Brian, you've, were, were yours high or where were you? So all my bloods came back fantastic, except for my hemocrit. Uh, it was one point higher, but you have to remember too, that I knew that was a possibility because of the high doses for testosterone that I was taking. I was taking more than twice what you were taking, Steve. You're a monster. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're taking like twice what I'm taking you, monster. <laughs> yeah, just a fat kid, that's all. Anyways, um, so it was just a little bit high. So what we talked about with my doctor, because we saw it, was blood donations. And I went to a local company here in town that you can, and they do blood drives, all kinds of things, but they're more than happy to set you up on a regular blood donation. And that should aid in that, that maintaining my hydration level should help. Uh, but those are the things you want to catch. Now, again, like Steve, um, mine was at 51. Um, you know, like Steve, the doctors are like, yeah, okay, you're on, a, you're on testosterone. Of course it's there. Um, but why not try to get it down? And I'm 100% in agreement that, look, it's a good thing anyways. When you go to the blood banks, um, they ask you the questions if you're taking these things and you go ahead and you let them know. But I will tell you blood work for me, this is, the, I'm what, 56 um, years old. This is the best bloods I've had since I can remember. And what's funny is the, the same core, um, company lab core that, uh, Royal medical contracts with and my old clinic, um, age management Institute, um, they all use lab core. <clears throat> so I have a history from my first career, uh, where for 25 years, I was getting my blood done to them for our physicals. And so I have this history where I can track everything and I can look back and I can see the, the, ups and downs of my blood work and I'm probably at the best I've been and I don't even know how long. There's a couple that there's a couple of years where I was a little bit better in certain areas like uh, cholesterol was a little bit lower I'm gonna say well over a decade ago but I was on medicine at the time. I don't take any medicines for cholesterol or blood pressure. My blood pressures um, since I've been on testosterone have gone down to uh, last one on the fourth that was taken or the third or fourth was 120 over 70 uh and i'm a 265 270 pound guy that's why i'm floating around right now and you're what like five five foot yeah i am i'm an oompa loompa and uh i'm five <laughs> eight on a good day but generally i'm about five seven um so you know if you look at me you might make the assumption that my cholesterol should be off the charts my blood sugars uh now that i've been on testosterone are under pre-diabetic now finally for the first time in I don't even know how long they are the best I've seen them and uh, uh, for me not you know I know they could be better but I'm in the low 90s there as well and uh, I'm used to seeing like uh, 102 or 103 um, 
And that, I think, had a lot to do with my body size. Uh, because on uh, last year at this time, I was just under 300 pounds. And now I float between 265 and 270, and I've lost several inches on my belly. Um, I credit this to the testosterone, but let's throw a key in here. When we talk about this, my blood works are teaching me a lot. Now we're doing this every quarter, right? But at the same time, it's the regiment that goes along with the TRT program. I'm sticking to my my regular training programs. I'm very physical and I stay very active. And I think that helps with everything. So it brings it all when you get your blood's done, brings it all together because you're on the right proper dosage of TRT. You have an active lifestyle. You're not sitting around eating nothing but lard soup. It really pays off. So blood testing is huge. And the nice thing about some of these programs is if you use a company like the ones we're using right now, everything's included. You're not coming out of pocket for all these blood tests. And although I absolutely loved my last clinic I was using, every single item you had to pay for it. And you had to get dues and all these other things. When you go to Royal Medical, your blood tests are covered. It's all part of what Steve was saying in that cost. It's all part of it. So you're not coming out of pocket every quarter for a new scan of your blood, which is fantastic. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they yeah, get yeah. this cost down, but it's pretty amazing. Yeah, I asked him, I go, how do you do it at such a low price? Anyway, yeah, you, and then I'm, I'm going to tell you guys what I do. I, a couple more, I think <laughs> I want to go over on my blood work and I'll tell you what I do because I've been doing this for about 10 years. I'm 61 now. I've been on TRT since I was about 52. And so I know how my body responds. And sometimes it takes time to figure out the things that I've figured out over time. And then they're going to change a little bit. So the other hormones that are involved here. Um, well, first I'll tell you my glucose is great. My A1C is great, but my diet's also very clean. Um, so uh, my liver enzymes are outstanding. I'm very happy they used to be high. Now they're in a nice normal range. Um, so let's talk about my testosterone. My dose is probably about 120 milligrams a week, I would say, you know, give or take, um, which is not a huge dose. And my total testosterone, I'd wait three or four days from my last injection and um, to get my blood work done. And my total testosterone came in at 875. The range is 265 up to 915. So I'm at the top of the range at 875. Um, now my free testosterone, um, is at 13 and this range is six to 18. So my free testosterone is in a nice range. Normally my free testosterone comes in higher, but I take a few natural supplements to kind of, uh, massage that a little bit and get where I get it, where I want it to be. And I'll tell you how I do that in a second, but first my, um, PSA, which is a prostate uh, measurement, is good. The range is um, 0 to 4, and I'm at 0.7, so I'm not even at 1, and it, it stays right about there. It's not going up. It's and not that's, going down. I think what's important to add there, Steve, that's an extremely important number because a lot of people are afraid of testosterone because they hear all these horror stories about prostate issues that accompany with it. Um, I, I guess, yeah, you could get an enlarged prostate, but that doesn't mean you have something negative coming your way. And for somebody that is very familiar with these products, for you to come in as a TRT person and come in with a 0.7 or whatever it is, that's incredible, which goes to show you that your lifestyle's aiding. If so, when you go get your blood test done, it's all helping everything to just stay balanced. You know, and, and back to another thing is the cholesterol side of things. I generally run just over 200 or maybe a little more. And again, I don't take medicines. That's just we. I come from a family of high cholesterol. It used to be a lot worse than that. But now, I'm, again, I'm down into the, uh, like right in the 190 zone. And that is because I think the testosterone is operating my body at such an efficient level now. Yeah, so um, before... 
Um, and, and that's, you, we're not doctors. I, again, you guys know, for me, I'm relaying to you what I've done and what's happened, what I do and what I see related to my own body. You guys have to do your own research and you have to talk to the doctor, whether it's Royal Medical or somewhere else. And it's okay to say, I don't want to do that. What if I don't do that? What if I choose not to do that? What are the, what are the potential side effects if I take other medications? I have had zero side effects just on the TRT, but I have avoided all the other medications. So it's okay to ask, is that going to work for you? I don't know. Uh, you may need some other medications to keep your estrogen down, depending on how you're feeling or whatever. But, and you know, YouTube is a great place to do some research, type in TRT, you'll get so much stuff will come up and so many good doctors that really make sense to me that will come up. So when, um, you know, and so I, I saw that I go, you know, I'm, I've gotten kind of greedy. I want my free testosterone to be higher. And that's what really, really matters. So but I look at my estradiol, my estradiol, the range is, eight to 35. I'm at 35. I'm at, I'm, I'm at 30. So I'm five points under, um, DHEA. That's another one that, that they'll usually test. And that's kind of at the low range. So I can take some D, um, I can take some DHEA. It's just a capsule form. It's a supplement. Um, but how I, try to work my free testosterone up is when you get to the, I'm scrolling down here, sex hormone binding globule. When that is low, again, this is a pattern on my blood work and it might be on yours. You can ask uh, the doctor that you talk to if they see these same patterns. When my sex hormone bi binding globule is low at the lower range, my free testosterone is higher. Why I've been told that um, the, the, the sex hormone binding globule has to do with grabbing or not grabbing and using the total testosterone. So when that's not being taken out of your system, your free testosterone is going to be higher. So what I do um, to help improve my free testosterone and it works for me is I take Tungat Ali and I take Boron. Tungat Ali seems to help between working between the um, sex hormone binding, sex hormone binding globule brings that down a little bit, which brings my free testosterone up. So Tungat Ali and Boron. Now Boron, your body can kind of get immune to it, so I'll take five mil. Let me get the exact dose. I think it's five milligrams. Yeah. I take five milligrams. Uh, 10 milligrams would be high for me. And I kind of rotate it, go up and down because your body can kind of get used to the boron. Um, so I don't take it all the time, but... Um, when I'm taking it and I know if, if I take it a couple weeks before my blood work and I take a decent dose, five milligrams, sometimes 10 milligrams max, that's it. That drives the sex hormone binding globule down and it raises my free testosterone because I've had my free testosterone, you know, above the high range. So that's what works for me. I don't know if you've experimented with that or not, Brian. I have not. Um, my free right now on my scale goes to 50, the one that they're using for me. I'm at 49. And uh, my regular testosterone is off the charts. And I, I took my, my blood test six days after my last injection. And I was still at 1500. And so what we learned from that was the dosage that I'm using um, has to come down. We, so we're cutting my doses down, and which is why you want these blood tests. Um, for whatever reason, my body's just 
eaten up every bit of this testosterone and I'm on fire internally. Now, when these, when you get these bloods in, I want everybody to understand too, um, testosterone, when you're taking it and you're getting your measures and stuff like this, you're not going to feel any euphoric, hyped up, amped up, kind of sensational type of feeling from the use of this product. Your body's just going to level out and you're not going to know what it's like to feel bad. And your bloods will show and match that. Now, look at what Steve's been able to do with his bloods. And this is important because we did this with my doctor at the old um, group that I was using, uh, Dr. Gunderson. And uh, we took our bloods and we matched that with my vitamin deficiencies, kind of like what Steve's talking about. And we matched all this up so that I'm on the proper vitamin intake as well. And I think that has a lot to do with the success of what my body's doing. So I'm feeding it way better through supplements than I've ever done before. And that's a part of the entirety of the TRT program. Yeah. And you know, we're going to, we're going to talk more. We're going to do another video on, um, just getting started and getting this right. But I've been doing this for a long time, not just with TRT, but watching my blood work and experimenting on myself. So I know my body very well. Now I will say with the giving blood and one of my doctors said, okay, skip giving the blood next time because it dropped my iron saturation down low, just barely down under the range. My iron is okay. What was that? That means you get to eat liver and onions now. Yeah. Liver and onions. Yeah, for sure. So he just said, don't give blood next time. So I'm not into taking iron supplements. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll skip it next time. See what my blood work is. And uh, I'll go from there. So it's a matter of testing it for yourself. Everyone's different. Everyone's going to feel different. But this is to improve your health. This is not you know, to be the most jacked 70 year old in the gym or any age, it's to improve your health. You do it right. It really works. So, um, any last thoughts, Brian? No, just give it a chance, but stay informed. You're going to get told a lot of things when you talk to your buddies about all these things, get to your doctors, get to the specialists, get to the experts, check your bloods every quarter. All right, Brian, we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everybody.